Next up, we have what I feel is an important question. Uh, this lifter says, I visited my doctor because of some routine things, and he said I should do an MRT. Um, I did it, and I have a disc protrusion between L4 and L5. The doctor said that I should stop doing conventional deadlifts because my back is not neutral enough, and I should do sumo or semi-sumo because my back is straight at L4 and L5. And he said that I should do a new setup between every rep to ensure that I have a straight back. Also, uh, do more exercises for my torso and abdomen. I do not have any pain in my back, and no nerve is involved in that. It was really by chance that we got this information. So how should I go further? I'm afraid that uh, I'll get weak by doing a new setup between every rep uh, with my high volume plan. I can set up for a max of three reps without getting too weak and exhausted, but I don't think that I'm able to do uh, more with, uh, without bad technique or less weight. I hope you can help me tomorrow's deadlift day. <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment. Uh, this is not likely going to be a thing that we're going to have a quick resolution on in time for deadlift day. But uh, let's give it our best shot. First of all, I'm not going to tell you that you know your doctor's wrong or your doctor's crazy and that you shouldn't do the things that you know he told you to do. Um, I do think that you should seek out a second opinion, uh, preferably a second opinion from somebody hopefully a physical therapist uh, who understands lifting and power sports, uh, that would be the ideal. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not in a position to disagree with your doctor. Uh, I can tell you that lots and lots of people, whether they lift weights or not, have um, bulging discs, have disc protrusions. I mean, uh, the terminology varies uh, from language to language, but uh, lots of people have these issues, and lots of them have them with no pain. Some people have pain and no issues. Um, it, it just really varies a lot. So if you're one of these people who has a test done and it shows a bulging disc, but you have no pain, I would really seriously consider getting a second opinion on whether or not you need to change things. Because that disc issue may have been there from the beginning. It may be due to lifting weights. It may cause some issues down the line. Maybe it doesn't. Um, again, I'm not really in position to say, but if you would like a referral uh, to somebody who is in a position to say, please let me know. I can get you some contact information and lots of times they can handle this stuff online as well. Um, yeah, let me know. Uh, I definitely think that you should get a second opinion before you just completely uh, revamp everything that you're doing. Now, with that in mind, um, if you're going to follow his advice in the short term, then follow it. You know, do sumo, set up between each lift. Um, it's not typical that that would make you really weak. It may be a different kind of work, you know, it may tax you a bit differently. Um, just give it some time, reduce the weight if you need to. It's not the end of the world uh, to have, you know, a couple deadlift sessions that are, that are not absolutely perfect while you get this sorted out. You want to be in a position where you can proceed with your training uh, with confidence. And it doesn't sound like you're in that position right now. So, at the end of the day, we need to get a second opinion on this, uh, preferably, much preferably, from somebody with some pretty intimate knowledge on lifting, lifting-related injuries, uh, and MRI results as it relates to the spine. Um, in the meantime, if you're going to follow the doctor's advice, follow it fully. And if you're not going to follow the doctor's advice, I mean, that's really up to you. It's your choice at that point. Uh, hopefully this helps you in some way. Um, I really appreciate you writing in. I think this is an important topic that should probably get more play in a wider audience, but um, it's unfortunate that it's not until we have these issues that we look seriously at them. So um, I wish you all the best. Please keep me posted.